Hey everyone, it is March 16th. <laughs> it's a Thursday. Tomorrow is St. Patty's Day. So I hope everyone has a wonderful, safe, happy St. Patty's Day. Uh, so a little bit different backdrop. This is at the front part of my kind of like office building cottage kind of thing um, that also so I have my office and then I have like my workout space and that kind of thing um, and I set this up the other day for a webinar that I did for one of my uh, prospects and so I thought I would try this out I really liked it and uh, hope you all are doing well thank you for joining me today um, along my journey and so I have a, a confession I haven't been drinking any water the last few days I've noticed I'm going through that spell where I just don't want to drink it I just want that sugary stuff and then I don't want the sugary stuff what I'm finding that I'm wanting more of the last few days I probably should chill out on them is smoothies they're really great and really tasty and they're fruit filled yummy smoothies so they're good they're great I'll get back on the water train here pretty soon so this weekend we're supposed to have lovely weather so the weather pattern that we're having now I'm a little concerned um, because sometimes when we have lovely weather in our neck of the woods that could also mean things that come out of the sky that aren't so lovely and while well ago whenever I was in the back part there getting my video ready for my workout I could really hear the wind picking up and howling and that kind of thing it doesn't make you very <laughs> it doesn't feel very good uh, so anyways um, really pray that this year the storms don't really happen because it just seems like this is going to be a year of storms and really don't want to say that but let's go to the happier note what I was going to be saying is it's supposed to be a great weekend I actually don't have any sports stuff this weekend I don't think so anyway at this moment of time yes there will probably be skate park time because we got to really you know got to put the time in to you know hone in the craft to do really well uh, so we'll put in that time but what am I going to be doing my garden because everything has to be getting prepared uh, for a good Friday weekend because it's always been in my family handed down from my grandmother and my grandfather that you always put your garden in the week the after Good Friday day of Good Friday or after Good Friday and then you're home safe with your garden and so I believe this year it may be April 12th or April 14th correct me if I'm wrong but it's around that time of the year so about a month away and it's a really exciting time and we're supposed to have a really lovely weekend so it means I'm gonna get a lot done um, and I know I've been promising you that I'm going to share with you my garden, which I'm going to. Um, there were some things that I wasn't going to change that I ended up changing once I was in there and kind of working on it, cleaning it up and everything else. Right now I'm in the process of taking all my hose up out of there. And I'm going to rearrange my hose because I was a little short. And I noticed I had some critter get in there and chew my hose. So I got to fix it because it is like a irrigation hose that I've laid down like a soaker hose so I do need to repair that it's very very vital especially for July and August with a garden and for proper water distribution and that kind of thing and because I also have everything well I'll show you <laughs> when I get to that point but um, I really love gardening it's very important to me I feel like it is it, a uh, it takes your mind to a clearing space not only that I just feel like it's very spiritual and like you're very connected um, at that point and you, you get to see all the fruit come up and all that kind of thing and you can feed your family and you can also get back to your animals and that kind of thing 
and it's just it's just good it just keeps the circle of everything going very very well and so anyways uh, I'm gonna see if I can make up the long sleeves today with a workout I actually did not work out yesterday I don't believe I worked out yesterday I was bad yesterday I didn't work out that's right I didn't work out um, but anyways uh, I didn't like seeing my arms <laughs> like that in the video uh, it reminded me also why I don't wear white anymore while I'm fat because it really shows every role that I have and I don't look very good in white as a fat person I really love white on me and like ivory colors and pink so anyways I love those colors on me and whenever I'm out you know having all the rolls and everything else something about those light colors they really show off everything you don't want to look at yourself and I'm sure other people certainly do not want to see uh, so anyways I guess it's about time we go ahead and get to the workout today I'm going to do the prevention workout uh, with Chris Freytag it's the one that says drop it in 30 something like that um, the reason why I'm going to do the cardio today I think the push-ups hurt my hand and my wrist area felt good the other day but today I just noticed when I was driving stuff like very achy and stuff so the only thing I could think of that I did that maybe hurt my wrist was doing the push-ups the other day but I'm very proud I was able to do them <laughs> I did like a few of them uh, without being on my knees so it was a really big deal and I was very very happy about that so I may do a reading today I may not do a reading today but let's go ahead and get to the workout all right see you in just a moment
Okay, hi, I'm back. So I did a little bit of the workout. I had a problem with the CD in the very last workout of the prevention, and I didn't do the fat busting one today. I actually did the speed up your metabolism one today. And uh, I have to say, it probably really works good. Could definitely feel that I was burning the calories. I had to end up shedding the long sleeve shirt. As you can tell, I look a lot better in the, the darker navy blue. Uh, but anyways, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, and then I just did like one little section of the 20 minute express uh, Zumba. Um, so it's kind of nice to be able to pick and choose a little bit of what you want to do. So probably around 20 minutes and I'll go ahead and get on the uh, treadmill. And uh, I think I'll do, not a treadmill, I'm not doing the treadmill today. Uh, the T-Zone. I'm going to get on the T-Zone and I'll do a little reading for you. So if you want to stay tuned for the reading, I'll be back. In All right. So today's reading is going to be from the book, The Secret Door to Success by Florence Scovel Shin. Great book. You know, been reading you chapters out of the book. Scattered all over the place. So... But today's chapter is actually going to be chapter one. So I've skipped you guys around the book pretty good. And this chapter is called The Secret Door to Success. I'm going to go ahead and set this on program one. So I can get my boost of circulation. <laughs> and move those toxins around to eliminate these suckers out uh, and hopefully along the way it helps release the fat to get out of me anyways the secret door to success so the people shouted when the priest blew with trumpets and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet and the people shouted Oh, we got a problem. Sorry. All right, so it doesn't appear that we're gonna be able to do the reading today, unfortunately. I'm sorry, but the battery's gonna die. So actually the other day I ended up ordering extra batteries for my camera because we do filming with wrestling um, as well as like the BMX and then I have my own thing that I do with this weight loss journey. And so it's kind of hard and <laughs> impossible to keep one battery always going and so um, because I also don't want to leave it on the charger all day while I'm at work it's not very good for them either so I do have a couple batteries on the way so I don't have to worry about this very thing so next time I will read chapter one the secret door to success for you all and thank you for taking the time out of your busy day joining me on my journey um, hope your journey is going well. If you're thinking about starting one, go ahead and do so today. First key is action. And the deal is to always be moving towards that progress of that goal. To never give up. Just put one foot and forward of the other one. And you will make it there. And so, um, never lose sight of your vision and what your goal is and where you want to go and dream it's healthy to dream healthy to see yourself there um and it's perfectly fine it's okay to be a dreamer no matter if somebody ever told you that it's not it's okay to work towards those dreams try to accomplish those dreams so uh anyways if you like the video please leave a big fat thumbs up and uh, if you look forward to readings, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.